like that is also flipping to the Republicans. Mike Valerio is covering what this means for you, but first let's get to the numbers. How big was that swing, Mike? Well, Leslie, it was bigger than people expected, and to break it down to sort of visualize it for you, we're going to turn to the big board right now. So here you go, the Virginia House of Delegates, 100 seats total. Usually in, you know, years past, it has split pretty evenly down the middle, but how it started right here. This is Monday, 55-45. Democrats solidly in control right here, but how it's going right now, 48 Democrats, 52 Republicans with just a two seat majority in the lower chamber. So what does that mean? Republicans are likely going to begin in earnest with a Youngkin campaign promise, two of them in short order. With last night's seismic shift, Republicans are expected to control the Virginia House of Delegates. It matters because the House has the power of the purse, deciding who's taxed with an outsized role on how our money is spent. We're going to eliminate the grocery tax. Suspend the most recent hike in the gas tax. Those two taxes on gas and groceries are likely to be taken up by the new Republican House quickly. I think that particularly with higher gas prices and higher inflation uh, risks in the country, there's going to be a lot of interest in cutting the gas tax. And that's one of the things that actually there could be some significant bipartisan buy-in on. With the loss of a Democratic majority, Eileen Fillercorn of Fairfax is gone as speaker. Dr. Stephen Farnsworth of Mary Washington University tells us priorities for Northern Virginia, from spending to social programs, will likely take a back seat. If you wanted a, uh, a legislature that would care very little about the Beltway, you've got one. Okay, so something we want to point out, though, Democrats still have a majority in the state Senate, 21 to 19. That means that any controversial bills that Youngkin proposes, excuse me, from education to abortion, they face a roadblock right there. And the next state Senate election is in November of 2023.